take it as a compliment Just a screw up or cement You own a solvent bench I'll buy yourself with a syringe Yeah, oh. I'll take it as a compliment just so cool, run for some man. I'm gonna run for president. Don't wanna be no prime minister. From House of Commons to Senate. Now I'm the full drug administrator. It's a new semester, Coda, a fresh start. Let's try not to run another teacher out of the school. Seriously, Mom, you're taking their side? Take their side? I've been your biggest cheerleader for the past 12 years. Sometimes I feel like a Leafs fan. All right, Mom, no more trouble. With a great textbook comes great responsibility. To help simplify the memorization of your textbook, I have assigned the text equal to your birth date divided by the number of pi, which happens to be my favorite number. Welcome back, everyone. Pardon this interruption, Mr. Dillon. No problem, Principal Kimple. I hope you had a nice exam break. Just a brief safety announcement. A dangerous offender, Robert Zert, pitcher to my left, your right, has escaped from Shaftesbury Correctional Facility. The perpetrator is unpredictable and should not be approached if seen. If you happen to know his whereabouts, contact the police, school staff, or an adult immediately. Don't point, son, it's rude. If you have a question, raise your hand. What is this, a press conference? No questions. I have 23 other classes to get to before the end of the day. Keep safe. You okay? It's him. What are you talking about? It's Mr. Dillon. No, it's not. Look how angry that guy is. Plus, Mr. Dillon wears glasses. Pretty scary looking guy. I know I sure wouldn't want to run into him in the staff washroom. We are sure lucky to have Mr. Kemple looking out for us. You guys, when I'm happy, I look like Coda. When I'm mad, I still look like Coda, with or without glasses. See? Same person. Yeah, but Mr. Dillon? He's a nerd. How could he possibly be an escaped con? Mmm, meat pies. Tortier, as the French say. Really, Nim? Who eats three meat pies for lunch? I do. 3.14, to be exact. Who comes to school without a lunch? You, Coda, would you like some of my a delicious meat pies? I know that Mr. Dillon is the escaped con Robert Scarts. In next class, I'm going to prove it. Hey, how are things going this semester? 
I've heard great things about the new math teacher. You're talking with other people about my math teacher? He's not even your type. I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch hockey. Here, it's an article from the school mail out. Escape convict Robert Scart continues to evade authorities. Key identification features include a tattoo of a fish skeleton on his left wrist. The public is asked to remain vigilant and report any sightings of this Mr. Zart. The CZ makes the pronunciation of his name very difficult. I believe it is Scart. Hey, Mom. Look at these two pictures. Do you see anything? Angry ex-con and happy math nerd. Hold on. What about now? They, they look really similar now that they both have glasses. <gasps> That's so funny. Hey. You're not going to start any nonsense around this new teacher, are you? Hey, where are you going? I just made supper. Already ate. But I made fish. Already ate fish. Sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope we're all feeling safe with this crazed convict prowling around. Well, March 14th is just around the corner, and you know what that means. Pie Day! You can be expecting a ton of exciting activities leading up to Pie Day, so make sure you book your dentist and doctor's appointments during art and dance class, because you won't want to miss out. Okay, so looking at time and speed, let's say we have an escaped convict, and he's leaving the penitentiary at about six kilometers um, an hour. What page are we on? Uh, no, um, no need to get up, code up. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Getting everywhere. Cool. Um, uh, here's some paper oh. towel. Excuse the uh, delay, people. Koda, please go to your seat. Um, can you just have some here? We'll just have to ignore it, okay? Please. Okay. It's almost off. This is very uncomfortable. What? Koda, Koda, Koda. to do. After your little outburst in today's class, I think it's best we have a little talk. Some people have been saying I look a lot like this Robert Zart. Some people would even say I am this scary character. Do you think that's true, Coda? Well, I... Um... Now, if you did think that, and I was that escaped convict, 
You know what that would mean for you, right, Coda? No. Well, it would mean terrible things, of course. Oh, uh... Yes, of course. Do you know what terrible things this man has done? I do believe he would go to any lengths to protect his identity if he was hiding amongst us at the school. So can we stop this silliness, Coda? If I was this madman, would we be having this conversation? Of course not. I'd simply stuff you in the back of my car. I'm sorry, Mr. Dillon. Um, this, this whole thing is just silly. You still have some stuff. Yes. You know what, Mr. Dillam called. What are you two dating now? I asked you to try and have a quiet semester. Are you gonna run this teacher out of the school as well? No. You accused him of being a murderer in front of the whole class. No, I made a mistake, that's all. He looks very similar to the escaped con. Even you said he looked like the murderer. I thought it was funny, but I did not think that you would try to run another teacher out of the school. It was a mistake. I'm sorry. As long as we're clear on that point, and we're moving on, and we're focusing on our schooling, and not on that silliness. Yes, Mom. No more silliness. What page were we on yesterday? We were doing speed and time. Ha! I'm an expert on both those things. All right. Questions 1 to 20 for tomorrow. Mr. Dillum, don't you usually wear glasses? Haven't you heard of contacts, you little twerp? Hey, what about Pi Day? It's March 14th. Pi Day? You mean shut your pie hole day, don't you? Get to work, you little punks. Huh. Oh, this is a piece of cake. Or pie, you like to call it. Yeah, so basically my mom told me not to get into any more trouble. It looks like I was wrong. Wouldn't be your first piece of humble pie, Coda. He does look a lot like the escaped convict. I don't know, though. Seems like they aren't the same guy. Whoa, look out, guys, it's Dillum. Hey, get out of the way! Hey, Mr. Dillon. I'm so sorry. I talked to my mom. I'm going to apply myself to math this semester and make sure I graduate. Shut up, loser. Are you kidding, Coda? What about the humble pie? Forget about the pie. Come on. Quickly, follow him. Coda. Just do it.
Now do you believe me? I guess it could be a blow-up doll. As if Mr. Dillon isn't a bondage. I believe you. But nobody else does. Come on. We're in too much danger to be calling 911. What? Kona, what are you doing here? Robert Zart is still in the house. You're in danger. I thought it was Scart. I thought it was Zart. It's pronounced Shart, you idiots. The S-C-Z makes a sh sound. You'd be a jailbird too if you grew up with a name. You described yourself as a cross between a fart and a Shenanigans. Sh My friend Nim's last name is Gaylord, and he's not a criminal. Doesn't matter. I gotta get rid of all of your bodies. You were right, Kona. We do look a lot alike. He saw the article on me in the handout, and he jumped me in the staff washroom. Shut up, you idiots. Take him downtown for I get away with it. It wasn't for those pesky kids. So I guess your mom was right, Coda. Shut up. I hate being wrong. <laughs> <laughs>